हेलो वॉट इज अप एवरीबॉडी वेलकम बैक अगेन टू आर लर्निंग जर्नी ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न दैट वॉट मेक्स अ चार्ज टू फ्लो बिकॉज इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस राइट दैट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इज द फ्लो ऑफ चार्जेस एंड वी डिस्कस वॉट करंट इज सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दैट वॉट मेक्स चार्ज टू फ्लो बट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग आई वॉन्टेड टू टेल यू समथिंग सो दे इज फिजिक्स and in physics we have added mathematics in it so that we can derive some quantities which we can measure like voltage or potential difference so these quantities can be very very confusing if you try to go very deep into them because i have tried it and only thing i got is confusion because everywhere i go i got a complete new definition so one advice i wanted to give you is that whatever i will explain you in this video that is going to be enough but if you want to try to know about it even more then you can try that out i cannot stop you right so that's it now let's begin to learn what makes charge to flow let's begin okay so let's say that we have one battery a completely discharged battery by the way number of cells come together to form battery right so we have one completely discharged battery now here there are two terminals positive terminal and one negative terminal now they are right now there are equal number of protons and electrons on both the sides right equal number of protons and electrons now let's put this battery on charging so what actually is happening can you imagine well we are actually what we are actually doing is that we are transferring some electrons from the positive terminals to the negative terminal right again once again that we are transferring some electrons from the positive to the negative terminal so that we have a charge imbalance right there is an imbalance of charges here we have more electrons and here we have more protons right so there is a imbalance by the way battery do this by using some chemical energy right so here we have a imbalance of charge now let's connect this battery with the circuit right so right now we will cover what circuit is in our next video but right now i can hope that you must be having a prop or a basic idea what circuit is right so let's connect the battery with the circuit but why this electrons will flow even if there is a path because on the positive terminal there are protons right and those protons are attracting those electrons because proton is has a positive charge and electron has a negative one so they are unlike charges and we know that unlike charges will attract each other so those positive charges are attracting those electrons right right protons are attracting those electrons so that is how electrons will flow to the positive terminal and after this when we will again get equal number of electrons on both the terminals so again your battery is discharged so again you have to put your battery on charging so this was the practical approach that you can think of right so you can think that this must be happening right so that was a pure physics that we can say now we're gonna include mathematics in it and we're gonna derive some quantities so let's do that okay so now let's discuss about what voltage is so for instance let's say i have two charges right one positive one coulomb charge and one is negative one coulomb of charge right so i have these two charges and by the way they are unlike charges so they will attract each other but i wanted to separate them how i can do that so for right now you can imagine that i am going to use my physical power right so i'm going to hold that negative charge and i will take away right so what i have done i have did some work to move one coulomb of charge let's say i did 5 joules of work so i did 5 joules of work on moving one coulomb of charge a negative charge to move it from point a to b right so here my voltage is 5 volts so from this what we can say that the voltage is the work done per unit charge or v is equal to w by q now let's talk about the unit here so the unit of voltage is volts right and we use the symbol v to represent volt right so we use v for the voltage and v again for the volts so don't get confused and by the way this unit volt is named after an um, italian physicist alessandro volta right so that is very clear 
सो नाउ लेट्स कम बैक टू वी इज इक्वल टू डब्ल्यू बाई क्यूब नाउ इंस्टेड ऑफ दिस वी कैन राइट दे यूनिट्स राइट सो वन वोल्ट इज इक्वल टू वन जूस पर वन कूलम right by the way joules is the unit of work done we learnt it in the ninth standard and coulomb is the unit of charge we discussed this in the previous videos so 1 volt is 1 joules divided by 1 coulomb so from this what we can say that when 1 joules of work is done on moving 1 coulomb of charge from the point a to b then the potential difference or the voltage between those two point is going to be yes 1 volt very simple so that's what it is by the way very simple so we have covered a very confusing topic in very simple way so that was voltage is now let's solve one question very simple question to make our concepts very very clear okay so the question is that how much work is done on moving 2 coulomb of charge if the potential difference is 12 volt so that what the question is now pause the video and try to solve it by your own okay okay so now i'm going to explain you this so first of all what you have to do first of all write what is given and what is asked right so you can simply write it now we know that v is equals to w by q now, right so now what we have to do we just have to plug in the values here so we know that v is 12 volts and this is equals to w by 2 coulombs now you can just rearrange the terms here so what we will get yes w equals to 24 right 24 into volt into coulomb and volt into coulomb is nothing but joules so we got our answer that w is 24 joules so 24 joules of work is required to move 2 coulomb of charge if the potential difference is 12 volts so that was by the way a very simple question so that's it i hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did then don't forget to hit the like button so that's it thank you very much for watching